Hello, good evening. Good evening, sir. Yeah, could you please introduce yourself and share a bit about your background? Uh, yeah, sure. Uh, hello, sir. Uh, I am uh, Rajesh. I am a service now consultant with uh, five years uh, of hands-on experience, uh, mostly focusing on uh, customer service management, that is CSM. I have worked across different industries, uh, handled the complex implementations. Okay. I am certified the professional as well. And I also uh, love solving real customer facing problems uh, through smart workflows and integrations. Okay. Okay. What distinguishes ServiceNow CSM from ITSM and how does this impact implementation strategies? Uh, sure, sir. Uh, ServiceNow CSM, that is Customer Service Management, and ITSM, uh, that is IT Service Management, cater to different audience and objectives. While ITSM focuses on internal IT processes, CSM is designed for external customer interactions. Uh, CSM emphasizes on case management, customer portal, and proactive services aiming to enhance customer satisfaction and loyalty. Whereas, in contrast, ITSM deals with incident, problem, change management within the organization. Implementing CSM requires a customer-centric approach, integrating with CRM system, and ensuring a seamless communication channel. This distinction necessitates uh, tailored strategies to address the unique need of external customers. Okay, good. Can you explain the role of entitlements in CSM and how they affect case resolution? Sure. Entitlements in ServiceNow CSM define the level of support a customer is entitled to based on their contract or subscriptions they have purchased or they have bought. They determine the factor like response time, available support channel, and service hours. When a case is created, the system checks the customer's entitlements to ensure compliance with the agreed upon terms. This mechanism ensures that the customer receives appropriate support level and helps prioritizing the cases effectively. We can say that properly configured entitlements are crucial for maintaining the service quality and meeting the contractual obligations on both customer as well as the service provider. Okay. How do you approach configuring SLA in CSM to align with business objectives? Okay, sure. Configuring service level agreements in uh, CSM involve understanding the business priorities and customer expectations. I start by identifying the key performance indicators, such as response time and resolution time that align with the business goals. Using ServiceNow SLA application and uh, SLA definitions, I set condition and the target for various case types. Okay. Additionally, I also leverage SLA workflow to automate uh, escalations and notifications as well, ensuring the timely responses. I will also regularly review the SLA performance matrices uh, that help in refining these configurations to better serve the business objective. So I will do all these uh, 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 steps okay, to configure SLAs in CSM and obviously watch them and provide best for the business objective. Okay, nice. Describe a scenario where integrating CSM with another system improved customer service. Sure. Uh, so I will give you an example of my previous project. Okay, in my last company, we integrated service of CSM with the client's CRM system. This integration allow customer data and interaction history to flow seamlessly between the platforms. As a result, support agents had immediate access to the comprehensive customer profiles, enabling personalized and effective services. Okay, also the integration facilitated the automation case creation from CRM reports. This was a big win for us, as well as reducing manual entry and errors, okay? So overall, uh, this synergy enhanced the customer satisfaction and streamlined the support processes. Okay, wonderful. How do you ensure data privacy and compliance within 
the CSM module. Yes, sir. Obviously, uh, privacy and compliance is a big uh, thing which we have to achieve in any cost. Okay. So ensuring data privacy in CSM involves implementing a robust access controls and adhering to the compliance standards. I utilized access control rules uh, to restrict data visibility based on user roles and responsibilities. Additionally, I will configure data policies to enforce mandatory field and data validations, ensuring the data integrity. Along with that, regular audits and monitoring help identify potential breaches or non-compliance issues, okay? So uh, I would say staying updated with regulations like uh, GDPR and incorporating necessary measures into the system is also very crucial in case of providing privacy and compliance within the CSM modules. So we have to take care of all these things and ensure a proper privacy and compliance levels. Okay, got it. What strategies do you employ to optimize the customer service portal for user engagement? Sure, sir. Optimizing the customer service portal involves enhancing usability and accessibility. I focus on intuitive design, ensuring that the customers can easily navigate and find relevant information from the portal, find relevant things to, uh, you know, uh, raise the query, to raise the request, everything. Implementing a self-service option like knowledge bases and virtual agent to empower the users, which resolve the issues independently for the users. Along with that, uh, personalizing the portal based on the user profile and preferences further enhance engagement. Along with that, we can say like uh, regular feedback collection and analytics help in continuously refining the portal to meet our user needs. So we ensure all these things should happen and must happen on regular times so that we are able to cope up with the uh, dynamics of uh, company as well as of users. Okay. Can you discuss the importance of knowledge management in CSM and how you implement it? Sure, sir. Definitely. I can say that uh, knowledge management is vital in CSM for promoting self-service and reducing the cases volumes. So keeping that in mind, I implement a structured knowledge base categorizing articles for easy retrievals, okay? And I will do that by involving a subject matter expert, okay, or subject matter experts in content creation, ensure accuracy and relevancy for that article, for that knowledge, okay? After that, uh, integrating the knowledge base with the customer service portal, allow customers to find solutions uh, without agent intervention. This is also one of the good steps. We have to do that, okay? So once we do that, we have to regularly uh, review the articles and provide update in case the articles are outdated so that our knowledge base is become effective as well as reliable. We can also look after the incidents or problems which are occurring on daily basis. Once we have the root cause, we can instruct the users as well in case they feel uh, such scenario or such uh, use case in their lifetime. So we will uh, do all these things, okay? And uh, in the same way, uh, in my organization currently, we have implemented it. Okay, great. How do you handle high volume case scenarios to maintain service quality? Okay, sir, sure. Managing high volume case requires efficient pricing and resource allocations. Okay, so we do that. Uh, I implement automated case categorization and prioritization based on the predefined criteria. Okay, so this will also help. Along with that, utilizing uh, assignment rules and work queues ensure balanced workload distribution among all the agents. Additionally, I leverage AI and machine learning as well. Okay, these capabilities help uh, in predictive analytics, identifying the potential spikes and further preparing accordingly. With all these going, continuous monitoring and feedback loops help in adapting the strategies to maintain service quality during the peak times. So we follow all these uh, steps. Cool. Okay. 
explain how you utilize reporting and analytics in CSM to drive improvements. Sure, sir. Reporting and analytics in CSM provide insight into performance and the areas of improvements. So, in my case, I designed dashboard that tracks the key matrices like case resolution time, customer satisfaction score, and agent productivity. So after configuring this, uh, we get the proper reports and analyzing these reports help identify the trends, bottlenecks, and training needs, whichever in that area. So sharing these insights with the stakeholder foster the data-driven decision-making as well as continuous service improvement in the company. Okay, describe a challenging CSM implementation and how you overcame obstacles. Sure. Let me give you uh, one example here from my past experience. Uh, in a complex implementation for a multinational client, uh, we faced uh, challenges integrating CSM with multiple legacy systems. Okay. So data inconsistencies and various processes across the regions complicated the project, but we have to do that, right? So we address this uh, by standardizing the data models and workflows and which ensure the consistency, okay? Along with that, engaging stakeholders from each region uh, facilitated the uh, building and smooth adoption as well. So in this whole project, uh, regular communication and iterative testing helped in uh, identifying and resolving the issue promptly, okay? Whatever we faced there, we just interacted and communicated and uh, do a regular follow-up follow -up with the team, with the company, with the stakeholders, okay? And that lead uh, to a successful implementation. So I would say uh, we should not wait, we should not stop. Okay, if you have any doubt regarding anything, you just need to you just need to communicate it with the right person or right time. Okay, uh, once you have the clarification, you can utilize that and uh, proceed. So clear communication, engaging with the customer, all this helps in overcoming the obstacles whatever we faced. Okay, great. How do you approach customizing CSM to meet unique business requirements? Sure. Customizing CSM start with the thorough understanding of business need and processes. So I had conducted a workshops with stakeholders to gather the requirements and identify the pain areas, pain points, okay, from them. Along with that, uh, using ServiceNow configuration options, I tailored the form workflows and portals to align with the business objectives. After a thorough uh, discussion with the client, after getting a proper requirement, along with that, whenever necessary, I developed a, a custom script or integration, ensuring that they adhere to the best practices and maintain system integrity. One of the final and main pillar was uh, continuous testing and feedback loop, okay? So this ensures that the customizations which we are putting effectively addresses the intended requirement of the client and they are happy with the progress we are making. Okay. What role does AI play in enhancing CSM functionalities and how have you implemented it? Okay. Uh, so AI enhances CSM by automating the routine task and providing predictive insights. I have implemented virtual agent uh, to handle common customer queries, reducing the agent workload. And now the agent focus on more productive work, okay? Predictive intelligence tools help in categorizing and routing the cases effectively and efficiently. Additionally, AI-driven analytics identify a pattern and trends, okay? Informing proactive service strategies. But whatever we are doing, we should be careful. We should be Okay, uh, take care of all the things because integrating AI requires careful planning to ensure it complements the human agent as well as it enhances the overall customer experiences as well. So we have to cope up with all these things. We have to set up accordingly based on our customer, uh, you know, customer policies and then test it effectively, properly on a timely basis. Okay, great. 
how do you ensure scalability and flexibility in your csm solutions these both are very important and ensuring scalability involves designing solutions uh, that can adapt uh, to growing demands okay this is what uh, we mean scalability so i utilize modular architectures and standardized processes to facilitate uh, easy expansion okay in this uh, leveraging cloud capabilities and sure uh, resources can be scaled as needed okay so we have complete cloud uh, infrastructure setup so we have to manage it properly in case of flexibility uh, it is achieved by incorporating configurable components and avoiding the hard coded elements okay allowing for adjustment without extensive redevelopment okay so we are following all these best practices here along with that regular review and update ensure that the system evolve with the changing business needs so we are following all these uh, practices to ensure scalability and flexibility are there in our csm solutions okay can you discuss the integration of csm with field service management and its benefits yeah sure integrating csm with uh, fsm that is field service management uh, bridges the gap between customer support and on site services because both of the departments are different but they have to integrate seamlessly if we have to achieve 100% or uh, very good customer satisfaction okay uh, so this integration allow uh, seamless scheduling and dispatching of field agents directly from the customer cases it ensures real time updates and visibility into the service progress for both customers and support teams okay so this synergy between both teams enhances customer satisfaction by providing timely and coordinated responses to the service request open from the customers so it's a kind of win win situation if managed effectively and on timely basis okay great so what best practices do you follow for testing and deploying csm solutions sure sir uh, best practices uh, for testing and deployment include uh, thorough planning and stakeholder involvement i implement comprehensive testing strategies covering unit integration and user acceptance testing we are utilizing service now's update sets and application repositories okay to ensure controlled and trackable deployments along with that i also established a rollback plan to mitigate the potential issues once everything is deployed post implementation i monitor system performance i means my team and me okay both and gather the user feedback for continuous improvement so we are following this particular structure this particular process okay for testing and deployment in the best possible way for any csm solutions we are creating managing and you know suggesting okay great okay so thank you for your time and thoughtful responses thank you so much sir bye and good luck for your future sure sir bye